Hello guys, welcome back to my first video of 2024. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's. It feels honestly so weird to say that considering it's almost February already. It's currently Saturday and I figured I would just vlog my weekend for you guys. So literally just today and tomorrow I don't have anything particularly eventful on. Um, it's going to be a pretty like wholesome stay at home kind of weekend but I honestly just couldn't wait to start creating videos again. So here we are. Now I wanted to start the weekend off with a big walk lane and i were gonna do maybe like a newstead walk and get like coffee or matcha in my case afterwards but the weather outside is not it it is so cloudy and apparently it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow so i think we're gonna do that tomorrow morning instead but something else i did want to do today which i now think i will do this morning is go shopping for more paint supplies if you follow me on instagram you may have seen i'm painting a lot lately it all started because i did this huge painting for my mum's birthday i'd painted her this canvas like years and years ago and i was never happy with it so i've been meaning to paint over it for such a long time and i finally did and that kind of just like reignited this love and like passion i guess that i have for creating art but ever since then i've literally never been not painting like there's never been a point where i haven't been working on a painting so at the moment i'm working on something for my grandma's birthday she doesn't know but she also doesn't have youtube so i can say that but then i also actually had someone commission something off me recently which is so exciting so i actually need to pick up the canvas for that i want to get a couple of other paint and just a couple of other things as well so i think i will get ready outfit wise i think i'll go pretty simple because one i'm gonna have to change my shirt once i start painting anyway because i have like painting tops like big baggy shirts that i don't really care if i get paint on but for shopping i think i'll just go with these big baggy jeans and maybe just like a plain white top i've got this like white singlet so i think i'll just do this i also think i need to just like clip up my hair it's annoying me today i think i'll just like claw clip it maybe i don't know Okay, this is my outfit. I didn't end up putting my hair up. I feel like it's going to annoy me more if it's up than if it's just like chilling. But this is the outfit, just the white singlet, big baggy jeans. I've got my white bag and then I think I'll do these little black ballet flats. Let's go. I'm hoping that the background noise isn't too loud. I just got back to the car and I popped the aircon on because it is that hot outside that it is impossible for me to not have the aircon on right now. But I just finished up at Spotlight. Very successful trip. I got everything that I was wanting to get. So first up, I got this canvas um, for my commission. I don't know how the best way to hold this will be um, for my commission piece. And then I just picked up a couple of little things as well. So I picked up more texture paste because I had run out. And then I also picked up this color. It's just like a really nice neutral kind of creamy kind of color. I usually just mix my own colors, but I find it hard to get a really nice light um, neutral which is usually what I use for the background of my painting so I just picked up this one to give it a go $16 or $17 or something crazy but and then this one's a bit random but I picked up some plastic palette knives I've got a couple of like metal ones at home but I really liked the look of that one I feel like it looks really sharp and I don't use them um, so much for like mixing my paint I more use them to like create um, shapes and designs and stuff on my artworks but yeah I liked the look of that one so it was like two dollars for the whole pack but anyway I'm gonna go back home now I didn't end up making a matcha before I went because I figured I'll make one and drink it while I'm painting so I'm gonna go do that and I will probably check back in with you guys after I've been painting for a couple of hours Thank you. 
As you would have seen, I just ducked into the shops. I picked up some milk for my matcha, some vanilla syrup, which low-key looks like cologne or something. <laughs> but I remembered while I was at the shop that I ran out of my vanilla syrup the other day. Also, I just realized that I haven't had my engagement ring on all morning because I took it off last night to tan. Um, but anyway, she's back. And then I also picked up some Mercy Valley cheese and some wafer crackers simply because I have quince paste in the fridge. So I figure I can have it for like lunch or something like that. Um, I picked up some mangoes, a passion fruit, this mango chobani yogurt, and this mango and passion fruit jelly because I saw this girl on TikTok make like, um, I saw it a while ago, like I saw this kind of recipe going around where people were mixing jelly with yogurt. Um, but I saw a girl on TikTok just the other day who did that. Um, and then she also put like a bunch of toppings. I think she put mango on top and just like a bunch of fruit toppings and made it like a yummy, more healthy dessert. So I'm gonna make that later today so then I can taste test it um, in the vlog tomorrow. But first I'm gonna make my matcha and then I'm going to paint for a while. So this is what the little jellies look like. They smell so good, like very mango-y, obviously. But I'm gonna pop these in the fridge to set. I'm not gonna taste test them until tomorrow, even if they look ready today, because I want them to like fully set and like harden, I guess, as much as jelly hardens. But I do have high hopes for these. I feel like they're going to be delish. Jump scare, but I just had a shower and got into my PJs, but I wanna do a face mask. I've got this Bondi Sands one that I'm yet to use. So I think I'll use this one. I just feel like my skin needs a bit of extra TLC at the moment. Still only early. It's still only just after five. Oh, I was so expecting this to be blue, but it's kind of just gray slash white. I keep looking in the viewfinder because I'm kind of using it as a mirror at the moment as well. But I think the rest of the day will be pretty chill. I have some leftover Indian because Lane and I got Indian last night. So I think I'll just have that for dinner um, rather than making something. But we've been watching a lot of movies lately, specifically Adam Sandler movies. I don't know what it is lately. We've got a bit of an Adam Sandler um, obsession. I think it's because like, I don't like scary movies um, and I don't like super sad movies either. So I'm always up for a comedy. Um, or like a rom-com, but then Lane doesn't like rom-coms, so we kind of just like meet in the middle and Adam Sandler. Look, I'm trying to make this as neat as possible. I don't know why I bother because it's like, it doesn't need to be neat, but I just want it to be, you know? So I'm having a nice big dinner tonight. I've got my leftover Indian, so I just got butter chicken, of course. Um, rice, obviously. Then I had one more poppadum that I didn't eat last night. And then I also realized that I had one of these spring onion um, pancakes that I get from Costco. This is the packet, if you're wondering. Um, but I still had one of them in my fridge and they are so good. So I'm gonna go eat this and I will catch up with you guys in the morning.
Good morning guys, happy Sunday. Lane and I are just about to leave the house to go on our morning walk. We're just going down to Newstead to do the walk along the water there. And there's a really nice cafe that I wanna check out afterwards. I don't think I'll get food or anything, but I think I will test out their matcha because apparently it's really good. But I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing before we head out. So I've got this crop on from Elite 11 and I'm pretty sure these leggings are actually from them as well. And then I've also just got on my Nikes. We might do a tiny shop after the walk as well. I was talking to my cousin last night and she's gonna come over for dinner. So I think I'm gonna make like a pesto pasta bait and then I will check back in with you guys after. So we're back home from our walk. We stopped into Industry Beans and got a matcha langata green juice, which by the way was so good. My matcha was good as well. It definitely wasn't my favorite that I've ever had, but I would have it again. Like it was pretty good, but the green juice wasn't like one of those super grassy, like thick green juices. It had like apple and like sort of more refreshing. I think it had like lemon and refreshing ingredients. So it was so good and nice and thin as well. Not gonna lie, I kind of wish I got that after our walk because it is so hot, like it's over 30 degrees. I think tomorrow's gonna be like 36, I'm kind of scared. But I was going to FaceTime Shania. We want to um, plan out our trip. She's actually visiting next weekend just for a few days. And we kind of like wanna plan what we're gonna do just to get the most out of the few day trip. And we will be vlogging next weekend as well for the few days that she's here. I feel like it's always so much easier to vlog when you've got another person because you're kind of like bouncing off each other and it's just fun vibes. But anyway, I'll stop rambling. I'm gonna go FaceTime Shania. I'm just about to pull out my panna cottons out of the fridge and I'm gonna chop up some mango and chop up some passion fruit to put on top. I've got Shania on FaceTime, say hi. Oh my god, okay. This looks so promising. Look at this. Ooh, it's like that looks so tasty. Like it's not even wobbly, it's like fully firm and set. First time Lane ever cut up a mango because he mustn't have like had it much as a kid. And he tried to cut straight through the middle because he didn't know there was a seed in it. And he like sent me this photo of the mango like all butchered with like this he's like started to cut through the seed and he's like, how am I supposed to cut this? Oh, look at this mango. Oh, yeah. Consistency. I like mango off the skin. I can only eat it if I cut it off. Really? Because it gets all in your teeth. I might do mango first. Are you making one for Lane too? No, I was going to, but he, I forgot, doesn't like, oopsies, panna cotta and he doesn't like jelly. Oh! So I was like, oh. Okay. Why? Or for dessert or something. I don't know. A lot of people don't like jelly. Kind of boogery. <laughs> this is what she looks like. I'm so excited. Oh my <laughs> god. I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at that, this. That looks so tasty. That oh, looks I'm so excited. All right. Yep. We're making this. You need oh, to yeah. try this. Yum. You... Oh. Hey. Did you just get it from the supermarket? What? Panna cotta. No, it's, oh my God. It's um light jelly oh. mixed with Chobani Greek yogurt. Oh. Yeah. Sorry in advance for not doing a proper outro for this vlog, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Shania and I basically FaceTimed for a little while longer and planned our trip next weekend, which you guys will be seeing a vlog of very soon. Um, I did a little bit more painting. I worked on one of my paintings for a little while. And then my cousin came over and we had dinner, we had wine, we had dessert. It was so wholesome and fun. And yeah, that's basically all I got up to this weekend. I know it wasn't a particularly busy one, maybe not a particularly interesting one either, but this was my weekend nonetheless. And I hope you guys enjoyed, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.